Hi, it's Rinkans, and this is Welcome Screen Text Animation. Hello guys and what is going on? In this episode you're going to learn how to make Welcome Screen Text Animation. This is kind of an update to previous video that I did. But this time, once the animation has finished, we can click on this enter button and welcome section fades out to reveal the rest of the website's content. As you can see, this is a cool animation that can be implemented into various projects. But before we dive into coding it, I just want to let you know that all of the resources including final code will be in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. First of all, let's create div and give it two classes. First one will be welcome section and the second one will be content hidden and we will remove this content hidden class to reveal our text in a nice animation. You will see it later on. Then inside of this div, let's create another div and give it a class of content wrap. And this will be wrapping element for fly in text animation and that enter button. So inside of this content wrap, let's create UL or unordered list and give it a class of fly in text. Inside of it, we'll have two list items, one for each letter. So first one will have H as a text and second one will have I letter. After this unordered list, let's create anchor tag. Its href attribute will be equal to pound sign because this will not be external link and won't lead anywhere. And the class for it will be enter button. Text for it will be enter. That is it for HTML. We can head to our browser and check it out. And yes, next thing is we need to style it with CSS. So let's open up our code editor and start by making basic reset. Let's target all elements and set margin and padding to zero. Then let's target body and font family will be open sans. We'll fall back to Arial and sans serif font. Font weight for all elements will be 700. Then let's target welcome section. Its position will be absolute and that's absolute to the web page. Its width and height will be 100% of the browser's width and height. Top and left values will be zero. Background color will be black and let's set overflow to hidden. So if some parts of the animation are overflowing our welcome section that they are hidden from our site. Then we will target the content wrap and what we will do is basically we are going to center align it horizontally and vertically. So position for it will be absolute and that's absolute to welcome section. The left position will be 50% and top will be 50% as well. Then let's transform it, translate it 3D, X and Y values will be minus 50%. Then let's target the fly in text or that unordered list and set the list style to none. Then right after that let's target those list items inside of fly in text. Then let's set display property to inline block so that letters are displayed right next to each other. Margin right will be 30 pixels to give it some reading room. Font size will be 5ms and those will be 5ms for mobile versions and we will later on with media queries increase this font size color for it will be white, opacity will be 1 and for the transition let's target all properties, animation will happen over 2 seconds and the function will be ease. Then let's target the last list item and in this case it is letter I and we'll set its margin right equal to 0. Next we want to target that enter button so the display property for it will be equal to block, we will center align the text. Font size again for the mobile version will be 1ms. Let's set the text decoration to none to get rid of that underline. Let's transform the text to uppercase. Color for it will be ADFF2F, that's yellow color. Opacity will be 1. And for the transition we will also target all properties. Animation will happen over 1 second, the function will be ease. And we'll also have transition delay of 2 seconds. And we set the delay equal to 2 seconds because fly in text animation is happening over 2 seconds. So we want these animations to happen right after the other. 
So in this case, the flying text animation will happen over two seconds. In those two seconds, we will delay the enter button animation and then it is going to happen over one second. And now what we're going to do is hide those elements with that content hidden class. So welcome section dot hidden class and let's target list items. So opacity for them will be zero. Then let's target the first list item and what we're going to do is transform it and translate it 3D. X value will be minus 100 pixels and what this does is basically pushes the H letter to 100 pixels to the left. Then we're going to target the second list item and what we're going to do is do the same transform translate it 3D but in this case we're going to push it 100 pixels to the right. Then let's target enter button, we'll set its opacity to 0 and we'll transform it, translate it 3D and we will push it up by 30 pixels so the x value will be minus 30 pixels. And the last thing for CSS let's set in that media query so at media minimum width 800 pixels and this means that devices with screen width above 800 pixels will have following properties. So first of all we will target those list items and set its font size to 10 m's. Then let's target enter button and its font size will be 1.5 m's. And that is it for CSS. We can look at it in the browser as you can see all of the elements have been hidden. And last thing is we need to set in those functions with help of JavaScript. In this case I'm going to use jQuery. So we will start by setting in variable called welcome section and we will target the element with the class of welcome section. Then let's set in another variable and it will be called enter button and what we will do is target that enter button class. Then let's set in set timeout function and the delay will be 500 milliseconds or half a second and what this basically will do is wait half a second and then do following things. So what we're going to do is target that welcome section and remove class and the class name will be content hidden. So what this basically does is it waits half a second and then removes the class of content hidden which in turn then triggers those animation and reveals the text. Then after this let's target enter button and on click. So in other words once we click on this enter button we'll trigger a function. First of all let's prevent the default action because this is not an external link. It won't lead anywhere. Then let's target welcome section. First of all let's add back that class of content hidden which will hide the content with nice animation and then let's fade out the welcome section to reveal the content of the web page. Okay, that is going to be it also for JavaScript. Let's head to our browser and check it out. And yes, as you can see, everything is working nicely for desktop. And mobile versions. And that will wrap up this episode guys. Hope that you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe for more design related inspiration. Thank you for watching and see you when I see you.